All right, hi everyone. I just uh, wanted to welcome you all again. It's an amazing weekend in the director of Jacob's Cure, but my most important title is being Jacob's mom. And Jacob's now 15 and he's the light of my life. Canavan is an extremely debilitating disorder. It affects the white matter of the brain. Without white matter, we do not get our impulses to move. Uh, Canavan children usually cannot hold up their head by the time they're three months old. They develop seizures, they lose their eyesight, they require feeding tubes. They essentially live trapped in their bodies. And when my son was diagnosed, I wanted to do whatever I could to try and save his life, to eradicate this disease. And that was why I had started Jacob's Cure. So over the course of the 10 years that Jacob's Cure has been in existence, we have managed to grow from a neighborhood letter writing campaign to a nationally recognized organization. And back in 2008, we hosted our first research summit, which was an effort just to unite scientists and researchers that were focusing on not just Canavan, but white matter disease. Thinking about novel approaches and, and ways to help the patients suffering from those diseases today. We kind of created this think tank where they felt safe to share their work. Since 2008, many things have happened. When we're talking about uh, a, a, a cure or a treatment that, that uh, can lead to a fairly normal life. I mean, that's why we are here today, just thinking about all the ways, all the terms that we put, uh, put together. We have strengthened these uh, scientific collaborations. Uh, this uh, kind of research summit is almost like we had uh, uh, a special recipe uh, that uh, became uh, a special meal for us. Talk about uh, recent development at the NIH on advancing translational medicine. So as an enzymologist, what we're interested in doing is trying to study the two enzymes. So here we are, fast forward two years later, and proudly we're hosting our second research summit. But this year, and, and as a result of social media and words spreading fast, families got wind of the fact that we were interested in hosting the summit, and they all asked to come. Quickly we said, well, this can also be a family conference, and let's have the families there. Let the scientists see the children that they are aiming to cure. Although they study fragment of the gene or fragment of uh, the animal models, they don't ever have to see a patient. So for them, as a point of doing work with passion. Being able to see the child that they can touch and feel and, and see, I mean, just to quote one of the scientists here, she said, I don't even want to be here this week and I want to run back to my lab. I'm so motivated. Liam and my son Carter and my wife Amy. Kyle is our Canavan kid. He's five. He was diagnosed when he was eight months. I'm Peggy Coover. This is my daughter Ariel. This is Amy. She is nine months old. She was diagnosed just in February, but we had a feeling. Hi, I'm Mespel from Norway. This is my family. We had a four year old kid who had cancer, but he died. Three months ago, so this is very nice to be here. See all this fantastic kids. Um, our daughter Lillian was diagnosed uh, when she was almost three. I'm Heather, and this is Tim, and this is our daughter Natalia. She was diagnosed at nine months old after three months of long trying to figure out what was going on with her. We have Liliana, she's three. And this is Harley Grace, she'll be two Thursday. She was diagnosed when I was five months pregnant through amnio. So we're just here to find out more since we have two children that have it. I think one of the things that we're all going to walk away with is that um, there really isn't necessarily a rule book. To be able to have everyone for at least 48 hours be normal. They're the norm here. We're all sharing the same lives and we're all sharing the same experiences together and they don't get that at home. The scientists are saying this is a bigger disease than what we thought and we're motivated and we're energized and, and the summit was even better than the last. I'm very, very excited about this all thing. I just can't wait to, for tomorrow to just uh, follow up with the emails and uh, send FedExes out and um, you know DNA strands um, across the ocean and just uh, get uh, more work uh, um, going. And I hope that next year when these kids come back that we have some new treatments for them. So 
that's ultimately the goal, is to help our children. Yeah.